message find you while you're in good health, good will. Hope you're doing something that you love today. If you want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel or book a personal reading. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab. What's up, baby? I feel like you could be keeping some, I don't know, there's a lot of expansion here, a lot of growth, maybe big opportunities coming towards you at this time, but you're keeping them very low key, you know? You're being wise with how, you, how you're growing. Maybe there's more direction in the things that you're trying to do or the things that you're trying to create. There's a lot of self-belief here but there's something being kept hidden for now, you know? Like, you know that your next move is your best move, but it's not for everybody to know. This could have something to do with like the path you're on or the path you're choosing. Big things are coming, big things are coming, Leo. Or on the way. And I think you know this, but I think you're being careful with who you share certain information with the star. Big things are coming, Leo. I'm telling you. So this could have something to do with maybe your, your purpose, you know? Your destiny. You're definitely facing your North Star with whatever it is you're doing or manifesting. There's a lot of healing taking place here at this time as well. And with this King of Wands, you're in your power or in your confidence could be healing, hey, chill. You could be healing from like a connection, healing parts of yourself. I feel like you're feeling very inspired and you're in your power. Whatever you are doing, you are meant to do it. You're fit for it. We also have the fool out next. So this is a new beginning of some sorts for you, Leo. A new start, a fresh start. Taking a leap of faith at this time in regards to your dreams or your passions, the things that make your soul feel happy. <laughs> but yeah, the new is here. And this feels like some of you could be stepping into the spotlight, right? Six of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the star. Just being recognized by many. The Seven of Cups, there's a lot of different options for you at this time. A lot of different opportunities, maybe. I'm not even going to pick it up. We also have the Empress. <laughs> so we have the Star. Oh, damn. I got my toes out. What's up, Leo? <laughs> Whatever. All right. So... <laughs> Thanks, Venus. All right. I feel like the whole video just changed. <laughs> the whole energy. Minor setback for a major comeback. You could be dealing with an energy like that in your life. Maybe there were some setbacks. Um, but you're really overcoming them. You're definitely shining, standing out, taking a leap of faith. You're manifesting at this time and you're manifesting potentially a lot because we do have a lot of options here for you, Leo. Could be done with a Taurus, Libra, maybe a Scorpio, potentially a Aquarius, a lot of major arcana as well. And then we have the five of cups. So yeah, you could be healing something, letting go of something, walking away from something, just coming to terms with a certain energy in your life that's not working for you at this time, letting go of that kind of emotional blockage, moving forward into healing, manifesting. A lot of you are very generous and you're very centered and grounded in your emotions with this Empress card, but also the King of Cups. So you, this could be someone new as well. You could just be with a water sign or maybe meeting a new water sign in your life that's very 
they can match our energy, you know, on an emotional level. Like they're very emotionally mature or put together. But there's a lot of abundant opportunities here with the full seven of cups and the empress and the star. Like this is a great reading. And I feel like this is even, I think the Five of Cups is good in this situation as well, because it's like, you're ready to move on to something bigger or, you know, something new, something better. Um, and you know what needs to be released energetically to get towards the things that you're manifesting, you know? And I feel like you're being very, gr like, very grounded within that reality. And you're just letting go of the things that feel like they could potentially create confusion or the things that have been just weighing on you emotionally. Like you're stepping into the new with intention, um, kind of fearlessness as well with this Empress and the Fool. Like there's a certain knowing that you are going to get what you want or you're gonna achieve what you're trying to achieve, being put in the spotlight. So whatever healing you're doing is, is working for you. Whatever leap of faith you're ready to take, it's going to work for you. <laughs> um, and I feel like you're getting unstuck maybe with the hangman reverse on the split right here. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, definitely getting unstuck, learning new things. Your energy is expanding. Yeah, and so there could be a lot going on. Like I was saying on the at the beginning on that split, like there could be a lot of changes happening around you or a lot of like growth a lot of expansion but it's like it's not for everyone to know about these changes within you or around you being more low-key with your energy or your blessings or abundance over the star we have the ten of pentacles so a lot of you're about to walk into a you're walking into your purpose or your destiny or something in that regards because with the nine of swords here usually when we are afraid to take a leap of faith that Taking that leap of faith is exactly, it's like a test from the universe. Like the universe likes, okay, you know you can do it. You know the potential outcome of what could happen, right? But we tend to, as humans, like get lost in the what if game. What if this happens though? But what if this happens? And I feel like the universe is kind of just telling you or you're just accepting like, yes, there is some fear around this maybe about making up your mind, right, in regards to taking this new beginning or just embracing this new beginning, but the outcome outside of that fear, the reality of it all, is going to be the Ten of Pentacles and the star. It's going to be well worth your time to run towards the fear in this situation. And to me, this isn't fear of like getting it done, it's like fear of letting something go or taking a leap of faith, maybe emotionally letting go. But you're going to be blessed with not only like being in the spotlight or being within your divine purpose. Like there's a lot of financial or monetary blessings here as well. Some of you could be getting married, meeting a soul partner, a healing connection. Um, there's a strong sense of community behind you with this Ten of Pentacles and the star. Uh, not only you believe in yourself, but other people believe in you as well. Or other people want to support you. There's a lot of a, a lot of money coming towards you at this time, Leo. Or you could just be really financially stable um, and trying to level up more. I don't know. What's this fool about? The Six of Cups. Ooh, that feels good. I feel like you're opening your heart up to new love or like new soulmate connections, right? Reconnecting with family, potentially friends, soulmates in general. But to me, this feels like you embracing a new loving experience or relationship. Something that feels good, it feels safe. Seven of Cups. The death card. With the Seven of Cups, we have death. There's just a lot changing in your life, and this change could just be creating some sense of confusion or maybe the opportunities like 
that are surrounding you, it seems like they're very abundant, right? Empress and the Queen of Pentacles. And so making up your mind could be difficult, like which opportunity is the best for me? Which one is in alignment with where I'm currently at or what I'm trying to manifest? Um, this feels good though. It feels like there is new love here. It feels like you're maybe taking a, a chance on somebody. There is no certainty in regards to how it will play out, but it feels good. So you're allowing yourself to just kind of fall into it or be open to it. I think on a personal level, there's a lot of success here for you. And I think that there's a lot of change happening in your life, change that's not really avoidable with this death card, you know? So this could be you having to make up your mind about what is what are you emotionally in line with or in tune with at this time in your life and what are you not and then kind of making decisions moving forward that are going to serve your highest good that seems like where you're at because moving forward you are in your highest good uh, with the empress and the queen of pentacles like the certainty or the self-awareness of who you are or that you're just, you will be secure and taken care of by the universe. Like that certainty is here, it exists. Some of you are definitely in your divine feminine power or being more open to the divine feminine energies that exist within you. You are manifesting money, wealth, power. Your status could be increasing. Um, and this could be a lot to adjust to, you know? There's a lot of big changes taking place, but it feels good. At the same time, just to end off this spread, we have the Five of Cups and the Queen of Swords. It's like maybe you're having to release something that you didn't want to have to do. You know, you didn't want to have to release it, but you know it's, it's just something that's not fitting into this narrative of success, abundance. Like maybe it's a relationship, connection, whatever it is. There was an emotional connection to this thing you're releasing or making up your mind about. And you are doing it, getting rid of it for your highest good. It's like, mm, I don't know. Let's say like you have a lot going for you, right? This is what it's looking like. You have a lot going for you, but there's certain energies maybe from your past or just in your present that they're not helping you grow. They're not teach. You've learned all you can learn from them. They're not helping you expand. It's like you're becoming aware of those things, you know, what's working for you, what's not, what's hindering you and what's helping you grow. And so there's something being released here and it doesn't look like an easy decision, but it is a decision based upon your awareness that changes here. If you look at this Queen of Swords, she has uh, like this butterfly on the tip of her sword and butterflies can resemble transformation and change and evolution and you know beauty and so I feel like you're just seeing like all of this opportunity that's in front of you or around you and you're recognizing what doesn't what's out of alignment in this picture and what you have to do to bring it into alignment that's what I'm getting here so this feels really good I think you're on a path of major success new love is here or you just being more open to a certain connection that makes you feel good Hmm. For some of you, the past could be trying to, something from your past could be showing up, creating confusion, and you kind of having to shut it down. Because with the Fool and the Six of Cups, it can resemble past energies or things that are nostalgic or, you know, we used to resonate with. And with the Fool, it could resemble them trying to start up something back again that could lead you into this confusion and kind of having to shut it down. But regardless, Leo, you are definitely, you're gonna be well taken care of moving forward, it looks like. It looks like the energy's available to you, right? It's tarot, so. If, if you trust your intuition, go with your gut and, you know, chase the things that you desire and that you want and manifest what feels right to you and yeah, put yourself in a 
let your let whatever. If you do what feels right to you, you're going to be Gucci. <laughs> you're going to be good, Leo. That's what it looks like. What can you show me about love for Leo, specifically love? The Emperor. So some of you could be dealing with an Aries or meeting an Aries. Could be creating boundaries. Six of Cups reverse with the past. <laughs> really putting your foot down. But this, if we're talking about love, Ace of Wands, yeah. New love with the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, so yeah, there's definitely new love coming in towards you at this time, Leo. It feels like somebody that also could, have, like I said, they can meet you where you're at. I, I did say that about like their emotional maturity, but this looks like even on a status type of level or just like this is a person's a boss. You know, they handle business. They, they do what they got to do. They could be in some sort of position of power, but so are you. <laughs> so are you. Um, with the Ace of Wands, this feels good. It feels like there's a lot of mutual Ace of Cups on the bottom. It feels like there's a lot of mutual... It could have like mutual um, passions, like things you guys like to do. There could be a lot of vibrant energy between you and this person. A lot of love, but it's definitely new and it feels good to you. Ooh. Can you show me about love for Leo? The world, and we saw that world out first. So this could be something that was new and it's starting to expand or grow this could resemble like you completing a cycle and now you're being more open to the new because we also have the fool here so maybe whatever you're letting go of getting rid of it's you kind of closing out cycles with those older energies it's opening up space energetically for the new to be here this could be somebody that you meet online with the world Queen of Swords as well. They could be very analytical. They also could be an air sign. Maybe a Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, specifically. Somebody that they speak their truth. They mean what they say what they mean. They mean what they say. I feel like they don't really hold back from you. They're very confident as well. Or you're confident in this connection. You're excited about it. You, you're excited to see where it goes and the Ace of Cups. It's like, I can't make it up. Yeah, Leo, you got some new love coming in. This feels good. It feels like there's a lot of potential. It feels like a blessing from the universe. You closing out certain cycles really does open up space energetically for you, for the new to come in. And the new is showing up as the emperor, which is just like a divine masculine in in their best form, you know? Somebody that is not gonna BS you because they're, they don't BS themselves. I like this for you. Hmm. Advice from the universe, what do you have for Leo? The high priestess. Like I said, trust your intuition in regards to everything in your life always. Six of Cups, especially if it has to do with soulmate, new love, or, you know, soulmate, old love. Like, trust your intuition. We also have judgment as your advice. Your advice is to let yourself be free. Allow yourself to free yourself from whatever old narratives that no longer serve you, like you are not your past, you know? You are not the choices that you made once upon a time. If there's new experiences opening up for you and intuitively make you feel in alignment and they feel good, like um, let the rebirth take place because you're ready for it. That's your advice. Be decisive. Because you have a very strong intuition. <laughs> the Queen of Swords, as I say, be decisive. Yeah. Make up your mind, but also speak your truth. And don't hold back, because your truth is your truth. I also have the Five of Wands, Seven of Wands. And protect your energy, protect your peace. Move at your own pace, right? Knight of Pentacles. 
Um, that way your manifestations will become what you wanted them to, right? You don't have to rush anything. But recognize the conflicting or competitive, na uh, recognize the chaos in your life if there is any. Address it as such, trust your intuition, and protect your energy and protect your peace because I see a lot of growth, room for expansion, prosperity here for you, Leo. And it's here, it's here, like the new is absolutely here. Um, we're just gonna keep going with oracle messages for Leo. Passion. Passion isn't confined to sexual energy. Life is meant to be felt. Do not hold back. Love. It's the right time for you to experience a loving, committed relationship. Enjoy it and recharge. Okay. Please slow down. It's not selfish to take time out to look after yourself. Yeah, don't rush yourself. Don't rush your process. Trust the process. So love, passion, sex, like recharge your batteries, get rid of the BS, the chaos, and be open to the new and the financial abundance and the you stepping into the spotlight. Because this looks like you're ready for a new chapter of blessings, like winning. Things come and go. Surrender to the universe. That's over this judgment, too. Let the rebirth happen. It's okay to change the direction. What is holding you back over the five of wands? Yeah. Just analyze your, your life for what it is, you know, just be honest with yourself about where you're at, who's around you, what you want, and move forward with whatever answers you find within you. You are worthy. You are loved. Yeah, you got a lot of love here. Someone is really into you, Leo, or de your energy is very desired by many, potentially with the star card and the Ten of Pentacles. You have a very strong purpose here, and I feel like you're really stepping into that power or taking this leap of faith. You believe in yourself. Ghost people. There is some energy of the past that keeps popping into this reading. Um, so you could just be dealing with people that you once dealt with. A time for spirit. Yeah, connect to your intuition. Connect to your spirit team, your spirit guide, your higher self. There we go. Love is strange. Love is strange. Love is so strange. What is love? The power of three. There could be like three people involved in this like love triangle. <laughs> um, it doesn't have to be though. This could just be you and people that you love around you. You know, that support system of other energies in your life. Count your blessings because more is coming. <laughs> more is on the way. What do you want to show Leo? Gentleness, dear. This is a reminder to be more gentle with yourself and others. The grace, sensitivity, and gentleness of this spirit animal echo the qualities brought forth when living from the heart. There's a lot of love here. <laughs> um, so yeah, be more gentle with yourself, especially in regards to all these changes taking place in your life. Uh, it's important to be, it's important to be graceful with ourselves as these changes, major changes take place in our life because it can be like stressful and chaotic and stuff. And we deserve to give ourselves that gentleness. We have a transition on the bottom with the bat. Pay attention to the signs around you. The transition may seem frightening at first, but you must let go of old habits and patterns that no longer serve your higher calling. They would only hinder your growth. 
And with Blue Jay, it says intuition. You're encouraged to follow your feelings and intuition. This is a reminder that your personal power is in your own hands and that you are free to take flight at any time. If you find yourself in a situation that doesn't suit you anymore. So some of you are just really like you're ready for this new, this next step or this next chapter. This, this leap of faith is kind of like calling you, it's calling to you and you're ready for it. All right, closing message. Legs, stepping into a new experience. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Taking vacation, either physically or mentally, with hammock. Someone working against you, behind your back. There could be energies around you that you don't necessarily trust. Keep them at arm's length, my advice. Um, a distant friend is thinking of you. So it could be that past energy or that like six of cups. Nostalgic energy, uh, problems to be resolved. It could be things you're figuring out as you go, as you go and move along. Good fortune is on the way, and you will be playing a different role. Some of you could be getting a new job, promotion, um, a chain of events that will affect your life. Money path, a path with money is waiting for you to find it. Believe, and you shall receive, Leo. It's time for you to stand out, be a star, persevere, and you will overcome problems. Also have Apple, temptation will test you. And news is on the way. September could have, we're in September. It could have been a very transformative month for you. Get two more. Thank you. Protection from a powerful friend. Some of you could be networking or just having support, a nice support system. Um, but we have someone's behaving stupidly and announcement. This could be part of the news that's on the way. But Leo, I hope that you resonated. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you soon again. If you do want to follow me on social media, donate to the channel or book a personal reading. Links will be in the description boxes below or my about tab. I'll see you soon. Bye.